morning everyone it's Naomi and today I'm throwing it back to get ready with me I haven't done one of these in such a long time so I'm gonna show you guys my outfit skincare makeup and also what's in my new bag I'm starting my skincare off this morning by toning and this is a pore minimizing vitamin C mist by a K beauty brand the packaging is just the most adorable thing ever Next up I'm going in with my serum and I've only just started using a serum and I'm finding it's really helping my skin and this one has licorice, apricot and sunflower oils, vitamins A, B, C and E and it smells delicious. My eye cream is the 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream for dark circles and puffiness and this one smells amazing too. And finally my moisturiser, this one's actually by Primark Naturals and it's 95% natural origin, vegan friendly and I actually really like it, I need to go and check out more of this range. So before I put my makeup on this morning, I'm just going to pack my new rucksack because there's a few makeup bits in my old bag that I need to grab before I put my makeup on and I thought I'd throw it back to old school and do a little what's in my bag with you guys as well. I'm going to pop a direct link to this pack pack back backpack I don't know why I can't talk today to this backpack down in my down bar but also if you guys travel a lot or work or are going back to school definitely check out the other bags that Captain and Son do because they have all different styles and like unique styles and huge and small sizes like mine's one of the smaller ones but they do go up to ginormous bags like you could fit pretty much your whole life in there laptops books etc and they have this color in loads of different styles as well so definitely check them out so there's nothing in the bag at the moment i've just got a pocket here there's a zipped pocket the other side and the zip goes all the way down to the bottom so it does open up really really wide and this is my current bag so it's pretty full but I have a ton more stuff that I need to actually get in my backpack so I'm gonna pop you guys on a tripod oh my gosh I've got more than I thought <laughs> okay okay so the first thing I'm taking is my iPad and it didn't fit in my old bag. This bag is like iPad shaped, so it should fit pretty much perfectly. I've got my little pouch here. Um, it used to say I don't do casual, but it's really old from H&M and I just keep my makeup in here. So I've got a few lip products. This is my Body Shop mascara. I've got this adorable little blotting paper. This is from Forever 21 and it's so cute. And this is basically if you're really oily just to help with that. So that's a godsend. And I'm gonna keep that out because I actually need the lip products in here. I've just got my little um, travel sized Batiste blush dry shampoo. Another makeup item that I usually carry around with me all the time is my Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation in the color medium 150. This actually usually lives in here and I just carry this around to do touch ups on the go. And it looks like that. Another thing I usually always carry around with me is some snacks. So I've got the Rhythm 108 Ooh La La Tea Biscuits in chocolate hazelnut. These are refined sugar, gluten and dairy free. They taste so good. I love these. Um, I think you can get them from Boots, Holland and Barrett, um, other places, but they're, oh, Costa maybe. And I've just got some dairy free chocolate raisins as well. I've got my Lifesaver, AKA my phone power bank. I've got my purse. This is a super old one. Um, and that's all I have to say about it really. Oh, now this is my new favorite thing ever. So I'm a massive coffee drinker and you know how bulky the big plastic cups can be sometimes? I have my Starbucks ones and I always um, don't bring them out with me. This is actually a large or a medium sized cup and it just assembles itself. So do this, look, there's the straw. Ta -da! I mean, you guys are probably like, Naomi, why are you raving about this? But I just think that is so cool. So this is called the Stojo. And you can pretty much get them everywhere, but I got this one on Amazon. And look, literally just takes up no room in your bag. 
I'm obsessed. And then my remote control, which connects to my phone to take selfies, so that is really handy. And this is my phone, so this is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, the newest, biggest one. And um, this is what it looks like on the back. I need to get a new case for it. And of course, Leonardo DiCaprio as my background. Okay, I'm moving into my favourite part of anyone's get ready with me is the outfit. So this is what I'm wearing today. I'll go through it, but I've not actually done anything to my hair today. I'm trying to not use my straighteners as much as I can and go heatless apart from my hair dryer. So it can look a bit crazy at times. I'm just working with it. Okay, let me talk you through my outfit. So this is the jumper that I'm wearing. I actually bought this jumper the other day from Nasty Girl. I will link everything down below, but it's in this really soft, black, fluffy material, and I have been completely obsessed with it. The weather's really weird today. I haven't known how to dress, so I've gone for jumper on top and skirt on the bottom because it's kind of in the middle, um, but it's actually off the shoulder, so it comes down like this, and you've got your shoulder out that side, it's so cute. I just love it. It reminds me of the 90s as well. I think there was a fluffy jumper trend going on, um, but I was too young to remember, I think. Um, I've got my little turny necklace on, which is from nakd.com. Kind of reminds me of the time turner from Harry Potter. I've got my backpack from Captain and Son, which I've tried to match with this skirt. Got a little matchy-matchy thing going on here, which I don't usually do with my outfits, but I thought it went too well together like they're almost the same color and I've tied in the black with this big chunky belt I can't remember where this is from but I do know Primark are doing a very similar version to this at the moment and then to tie the whole outfit together I got these boots these are super old boots from Nasty Gal and they just have like beading around the edge but they are my autumn boots so I've <laughs> whipped them out they've been in a covered gathering dust for a year and is my outfit. I also just really quickly wanted to add that I've used this belt to almost create like a paper bag effect with this skirt because it's just a regular A-line skirt but if you add a big thick belt and then pull a skirt up over the top, I did get this skirt in a size too big for me as well so I could actually do this. It worked really nicely. 